We're at Billy Bishop Airport where every week thousands of people come and grab a flight, many down to the States where you can get a connecting flight to places like South Florida or the island's warm, sunny destinations. Though in recent weeks, there have been Zika virus prevention guidelines which have been updated for those who are planning on becoming pregnant or could become pregnant in the near future and are traveling to a country infected by the Zika virus. And that has some families canceling their plans. As I booked the trip, we both went to bed and I told her, I said, you know what, you got to start packing now. I said, we're like almost fighting over how many suitcases we're going to take. This past weekend was filled with excitement for Walid Sethi, his wife Azra, and their two-year-old son, Ariz Ali. They just booked their first vacation as a family of three to Cancun, Mexico. This is like the perfect time, you know, we've arranged time off work. Uh, we saved up for it. Let's go. The family was set to depart this Saturday. The trip cost them $2,700. The vacation was meant to be a getaway ahead of the birth of their second child. While Lee's wife, Azra, is two months pregnant. It wasn't until after paying for their journey, the couple realized Zika is prevalent in Mexico. No travel warning whatsoever. Nothing here. To be honest, I didn't even know that it existed in Mexico or if, if Mexico was one of the countries that it affected. The couple claimed they planned to go to Mexico since there was no travel advisory on the booking website. But the Canadian government has issued a travel health notice for Zika in that country. In recent weeks, the Center for Disease Control and Health Canada updated their Zika prevention guidelines for those traveling after discovering the virus can remain in the body much longer than previously thought. We know that the Zika virus can persist in the male genital tract for up to six months after a man returns from a Zika virus infected area if, if, if he is infected. We know it can persist in a female genital tract for a little bit less time, about up to probably one to two months. Meaning if a couple is heading to a Zika infected area, they should wait six months before trying to have a baby. The disease can be transmitted sexually. As for families like Walid's who are expecting, it's strongly recommended they not travel to a Zika infected area. So you can see all throughout Central America, all through Tropical Central Infectious America. Disease Specialist Dr. Isaac Bogosh has been studying the virus closely and says it's widespread straight across the Caribbean. I think almost every island, if they have not reported it, they will be reporting it soon. As of last Thursday, there have been 382 travel related cases of Zika, two sexually transmitted cases, and two reports of maternal to fetal transmission that have been detected right here in Canada. It's hard to know what an individual's risk of getting the infection is. Of course, not everyone is getting it, but the risk is still there. And if people are getting bit by mosquitoes, the risk is not 0%, and they should avoid uh, getting bit by mosquitoes. Walid and his family, they have a message for anyone who is traveling and are expecting or planning on having a child in the near future. If you're planning on going south, definitely check out to see if there's a Zika virus because uh, the, uh, the risks involved are, are huge. There's huge risks involved and uh, you know it'll be with you for the rest of your life if, if you take that chance. Dr. Bogosh adds that if you're not pregnant and don't plan on becoming pregnant, you shouldn't be concerned if you're traveling to a country which is known to have the Zika virus. As for a vaccine, those likely won't be made available until 2018. Now, if you are traveling and want to check and see if there's a travel advisory for where you're going, you can find a link to that on our website, citynews.ca. At Billy Bishop Airport, Adrian Gobriel, City News.